night, everybody. Uh, it's kind of late. It's kind of late here in where I live in the States. <clears throat> I said I was going to do a story video today. I mean, tonight, earlier. But um, I'm trying to change the uh, the story. I'm going to make it a, a different video, which is not related to pool. But in my channel, mainly I'm going to have uh, what's going to be like pool sport, the sport of pool, playing pool, and all that. It's going to have another few a few videos with you know related to different points in life. It's not going to be that many. <clears throat> but this video was, uh, it's, it's a little more uh, different than, than, you know, what's, what, what has something to do with life. Um, I didn't want to do this kind of video because a lot of people going to think I'm different than other people or some people going to think I'm I'm like crazy or something like that, but I have to do it because I think I have a message and uh and it's it's for the, the world, everybody, every country together. <clears throat> so I've been getting, you know, like you know it's been said to me that I had to tell the world what's going on, what's gonna happen soon and uh and I've been, I've been, you know, getting messages and messages that come to my mind, and and they want something that won't let me alone if I don't say it. So that's why <clears throat> it's a, it's like a power inside of me keeps on telling me I have to say it. I have to let the world know what's going on, what's going to happen. So. <clears throat> When I have this, uh, when it was, it was giving me, the message it was given to me, it was around, I think it was around, uh, as I recall, I think it was November, around the, in the middle of the month of November, I had, I had a message that it was said to me that the world is going to be seeing a lot of different things that the wars that's going on with uh, other countries, you know, over there in Russia and stuff over there on the other side. It's not even, it doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even compare to anything that's, that, that this message was given to me. It doesn't even compare the war, all these wars that's gonna happen later on. It doesn't even compare what's, ha what's coming to the world to every country, from from over here, from USA where I'm at, all the way to Philippines, El Salvador, every country in the world, I gonna experience whatever, all this, uh, <clears throat> that it was, uh, you know, it was given to me. So I had to, you know, tell the world to be prepared. Be prepared, try to, um, like I said, the war is not even close to what's coming. So it's a destruction is coming to the to the world. So everybody needs to get ready to for survival. You need to um, get ready for to survive in the moment that you're not gonna have no light for a long period of times and, and you're gonna be real cold. And you, or if you, if you, you, you either gonna be real cold or you're gonna be real hot, or it's gonna be like destruction, like massive. Um, like if we used to have tornadoes before, they were small tornadoes. Some of them were hard, but these are gonna be real big tornadoes, like, like total destruction. If we're gonna have a Earthquake, they're not going to be small earthquake like before. This is going to be huge earthquake, total destruction. Uh, if we're going to have uh, ice, 
where the uh, like we used to have uh, the weather changes and when we have over here the winter now this is going to be out of out of control where people's going to be without lights for many days and i have these dreams uh and and they the message they were told to me it were it was around november and and but it was uh, it was told to me that it, where the area where it was it wasn't going to be that bad so and, and it happened you know it hit real bad around new york and all those areas over there and a lot of people died so the the message that I, that I was told was a lot of death a lot of people's going to die all over the world so i have I, you know how I, I was i told my family i told my my family my my kids and the the uh the people i knew which is a small circle that i have of friends and stuff like that i don't have too many friends but i told them too the people I, you know I, you know that i see i told them about it but i think they didn't put attention to me that like well some people believe and some people don't believe so <clears throat> I believe in and and the message that I that I, that that I received because I already have seen a lot of people dying and and they have died. So uh, people that I know close to the family or friends and stuff like that. So that's why I I'm I'm you know concerned about the world for the survival is the main thing that we need to focus on. I have a call for the people that are busy doing other things. I understand life, but take two hours, two or three hours for your family. If you're not, if you're not ready, if you all are not ready yet for anything like this, a disaster or whatever, uh, take two or three hours to, you know, whenever you have time, make little time to get ready because what's coming it's gonna be from now to all the way 2030. It's gonna be a disaster. I haven't received any messages after that, but from now 2023 to 2030, seven years is gonna be a disaster. And I'm not talking about wars. This is a natural disaster. Wars is not even compared to what's coming. Okay, so y'all need to be careful you all need to get ready the main thing uh if you cannot afford generator try to find if you cannot afford a new generator try to find a used generator or something that that's going to help you when you don't have electricity and uh, and, and and oh yes and, and if you get, do get a generator be careful read the instructions do not turn it on on the small area like over here in this trailer you need to you know have it outside in a ventilator area because there was a lot of uh, like four families die over here last year, last year because they've had a generator inside their their ha their home when their uh, lights went out, and they didn't read the directions on the generator. And you're supposed to have the ventilator area, and all the people died. The, the the little children and their husband and everybody died. It was like six or seven people on each family. So you just need to be careful every time you use stuff like that. Make sure you have a ventilator area outside your house or the room, wherever you are, is the, the main ideal. But yes, people, you need to focus on survival. If you believe, there, I know there's a lot of people that don't believe. But for all the believers out there that they believe in stuff like this, you need to wake up. Open your eyes. I'm... I'm already ready. I I, got, I have two generators. I'm trying to do a setup of uh, solar panels. Only I need the batteries to have my setup ready, because even the gas is gonna is gonna go out when the lights go out, and and you know they won't be able to repair the lights for a long time. We're not even gonna have gasoline to put on the generators, so it's gonna we're gonna last for a couple of months. But whenever it runs out, we're going to be out of, out of gas too. So we won't be able to get lights. But there's a total destruction coming to the world. And you need to put attention to this, to the ones that believe in it. The ones that don't believe in it, I understand. But this doesn't have anything to do with 
Christians and non-Christians, any religions, any color of people, and it doesn't have anything to do with that. This is going to hit everybody. Christians, believers, non-believers, uh, whoever believe in, in, in different gods, Allah, God, uh, Buddhism people, it, it doesn't have nothing to do with that. This is going to hit everybody. Everybody. Young children, adults, old, religious people, non-religious, this is going to hit everybody. So that's why you need to put attention. Take a few hours to get ready. If you don't have money right now, save a little money because it's coming and it's going through every, the whole world, every country, different areas. Uh, this year, we ma we managed to, to sl sl slide by. I don't know what next year is going to bring to us uh, this this winter coming up or this summer. But I know the world is going to be hit by total destruction. And, and and everybody needs to, if you're in Philippines, listen to this message. And you have captions so you can be translating this. If you're in China, wherever you are, get ready. To the people that believe, get ready. Uh, for survival, try to get it, have everything ready when you need to survive, okay? Have as much food as you can. The main thing is having heat or having air when it, whenever the, the, you know, when the sun's going to hit real hard. The sun's going to be very strong. So you need to have an air condition. At least two so you can have one back up. So this is what I wanted to tell you, you know. If I get any more messages, uh, I want to see if uh, if people's gonna like this video because I'm putting this video on my channel that I, it's supposed to be about this, but I have to do it right now. I don't have another channel, which on this channel is gonna be anyway. It's gonna be mainly pool pool videos, you know, the sport of pool, and it's gonna be some other videos. That's why I decided to to say this because it's it's in my head, and and I already told. You know, these people are giving me messages, which is being given to me through uh, different, not normal people. But I always, you know, I already told them I didn't want to have this message, but they don't listen. They keep on giving me these messages. So that's why I decided just to let the world know because it's still in my mind. You know, it's bothering me, it's bothering me, so I have to let it out. But yes, and everybody needs to be ready for for uh, survival man you need to think about you know the the young the young children the, the the little kids the families that have little children think about that and get a moment in life and get out of your routine and try to get ready ready how do you want to survive in a case of emergency when nobody can help you there's not going to be no lights nothing it's going to be real cold how you want to survive i know there's a lot of people that are ready some of them have you know all their setups and everything but the people that are not ready though you need to get ready it's not far away here in usa when i had that message told to me it was around november around december all the destruction started happening and that's only the beginning it started happening in new york and uh, different areas over there, uh, Nevada, all these places over there. It's only the beginning. It's, it's not even compared to what's coming. Everybody needs to be prepared. Every destruction, natural destruction is going to come. doesn't even compare with wars. It's very, it's very powerful. It's going to be flooding. Uh, it's going to be raining in places. It's going to rain for many days, many days, and it's going to be flooding everywhere. A lot of houses are going to disappear. Everybody needs to be ready for different survival things. And that's what I was told, and I need to let the world know. That's why I'm telling you all, all these all this, uh, things that I'm telling you. Because I, was, I need to tell the world, you know, let the world know what's going on. I mean, I know some people already know that everything's changing. And you can even you can even tell now that even the weather is different. It's different. Everything is very cold in the mornings. At night is very cold. 
it's not like before, like three years before or last year. It's, it's very different. So it's changing. It's that's why you need to get ready. The damage already has been done. Okay, so there's nothing that can stop this. The only thing that we can do is get ready for you know survival. That's the only thing we can do. But for the people that believe. I hope y'all, you know, listen to the, the believers, listen to what I'm telling you. And and it's not far away. It's coming, but it's coming closer. It's already giving the signals, already giving some destruction around the areas on every country. But something big is coming that is going to destruct almost the whole world. So everybody needs to be ready because there's nothing else we can do just to get ready try to survive until the big thing happens okay and like i said nobody's exempt from this nobody little children young old people christian non-christian believers where believes in one God, different God, it doesn't matter. Everybody is together and destruction is for everybody. So that's why you need to get ready because it's not far away. And if you don't have a lot of millions to go somewhere else out of this earth, there's nothing we can, you know, nothing you're going to be able to do but try to survive. So this is why I'm calling you. This is a call. It's a big red warning. It's already in red. And I have to let y'all know. The whole world needs to be alert. And I hope to the people that believe that you start, you think, do a little thinking and, and get out of your routine and start getting ready in, in emergency. Because if you're not ready, it's going to be chaos everywhere. Especially in your family, in your circle, you know. You, so you have to be ready. Now I hope you all listen to this, what I'm telling you. And be ready. Because that's the only thing we can do. So have a good night. And if you all like the video, I can either give you all more... Uh, videos like this if i ever get more messages i know I've, I've been getting these messages from a lot of years now from different things but i just now want to do it public even though there's people that don't believe and some of the people is going to say different things but I, I, it's okay you know that's how life is but i want to let the world know because this is something that the world needs to know and i want you so think about it and remember take care of your family you all have a good night and take care see you next time